So I, well, I, you know, one of my whatever little taglines is like, uh, the food feeds the body, the music feeds the soul. You know, and it it's all an encompassing, you know, experience. I think about five or six years ago, I think there was like a, a significant change in uh, the music scene. You know, just the type of people that had grown up listening to my mixtapes and my projects, they kind of got aged out. You know, they, they got kids, they got jobs. Uh, they were just not going out to a, a club anymore on a Thursday. So instead of complaining and saying like, you know, the clubs are wrong, I was like, no, no, you know what? Maybe I gotta bring what, what I like to play to a different venue. And I, you know, I thought about it. I was like, you know what, perfect venue is dinner. And thus was born dinner in a mixtape. <music> Planning any event when you're not physically next to the, another person and you're on different time zones, uh, nine, nine times out of 10, it's recipe for disaster. Like, this is gonna be tough unless you have a freaking amazing team who can kind of do all those little details and work them out for you to make everything happen. And, you know, in this case, this was revising Rihanna, you know, putting it all together. As it turns out, DJs and chefs are they're almost like parallel art forms. So while DJs manipulate music either by remixing or how they blend stuff together, that's what chefs do with ingredients, with food ingredients. Of course, we had to set the menu. Um, I wanted to highlight some of the dishes that we have here. And then also I wanted to bring um, a few different things to show that we can um, maybe possibly put it on the menu. We just wanted to have fun with it. Most people nowadays, I think they're looking more for an experience as opposed to just this one-off thing. You know, they want to bring a piece of that thing home. So, I don't know, 10 years from now, they're sitting around it like, oh, you remember when we went? Oh, let me pop in that mixtape. So that's also part of the thing. Like, you know, you come home with one of my cassette USBs and it's definitely meant to be more of a, a long-lasting experience as opposed to just whatever, I ate dinner at some restaurant or whatever. I hope the guest takes away from this that we're just not a bar, you know, just serving drinks, that we also have good food and, you know, we make sure they come back hungry. <laughs>